this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and use Claude code. This uses something called the command line interface. Specifically, this video is focused on Windows because it's not super straightforward how you actually get this working on a Windows machine because it's built for Mac and Linux. So we're going to go through that. I apologize in advance if uh, things don't work exactly as planned. I did already kind of download and get this working on my computer and then I had to delete everything for this video. So hopefully it works, but if not, obviously just leave a comment in the YouTube. I'll do my best to help you. So let's get started. First, we're going to need to download a few things. So head over to the Microsoft store. And the first thing you're going to want to download is Ubuntu, the latest version. Just click download. And then when it's in your downloads folder or whatever, make sure that you install it. Next up is the Linux subsystem for Windows. This just allows you to run Linux on your Windows. Last but certainly not least is the latest version of Node.js. This is really important if you want any sort of MCP systems or agentic coding type things on your computer. So make sure you grab this as well. So at this point, you might want to pause the video. I have links to all of these in the description. Just make sure you go download them all. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. Now that everything's downloaded, you can head over to your start menu or whatever and just search Ubuntu and click that and it'll come up with the Ubuntu command line interface. This next part is kind of optional. This is one of those testy things where uh, if it doesn't work, you know, come back and do this. You can follow these instructions in the description or in the blog that this links to. Really, this is just testing to make sure that you set everything up properly and that it works. So I would actually skip this part if, uh, if you want and just see if right out of the bat, you know, Claude code will work for you. If it doesn't come back to this part of the video and follow the instructions to set things up and test to see if you can get the cow to say something fun. The last thing we have to do is use our magical incantation to install Claude code into the system. So you can just look in the description or again, follow the blog, put this in and it should install cloud code onto your system. We're almost there. Now we have to point cloud code to the repository or the folder that we're going to be using for our code base. So you got to actually go find the path and then of using Linux friendly language, essentially open it up and direct it. Easiest way to do this if you've never done it before is to just go right click the folder, get the path and just give that to your favorite LLM of choice and say that you're trying to set up this folder in Linux, use MNT, something like that. Uh, and you'll know that you're good when you hit enter and it shows that you're in that path. Now we have to actually invoke Claude. So since you already have it installed and you're in the path, just type in Claude and it'll start up Claude code for you. I would highly recommend the first thing you do, if this is the first time you've used it, is to slash init, I-N-I-T. This is going to create a little markdown file for Claude to reference so that it knows how to orient itself around your code base and what it's been doing, the system patterns, all that kind of fun stuff. Really important when you're first setting up, unless of course this is a completely new code base you're starting from scratch. And then from there, although it's not the sexy UI of a lot of these things, it's just the command line interface. You can just ask your questions, tell it to fix things, just interact with it how you would any other LLM and it will get to work setting itself up tasks to complete, which can take anywhere from 30 seconds to several minutes. So you just got to let it go. It can be kind of buggy at times, sort of freeze, or if you go too long, uh, it might break. So you might have to leave, come back, and you just follow these same directions. You already have it installed. So all you need to do is go to the path of the code base you're trying to edit, 
hit Claude, hit enter, and then just start talking to it. I hope this works for you all. This is an amazing agentic coding tool if you're willing to get it set up. One final note before we wrap up, uh, I already set this up, so it didn't show up, but you do have to either set up an API key so that it can actually charge you for what you're doing. But if you have a paid Claude account, there is an option to log in to your Claude account and give it access to this so that it can just use your current uh, account. And so you're not getting charged for individual API calls. It's just using your normal Claude account. So I would highly recommend you do this. If you're doing a lot of agentic coding, this is going to save you a ton of money if you're really serious about this.